But now it is time for Talk Sport Ooh. Breakfast's seasonal awards. Are you excited? I am. Yeah. I'm, I can't wait. I can see that. So excited. Andros, you look less excited. <laughs> <laughs> However. So well, look, it's it's it, you know it's <clears throat> we're gonna it's up for debate, mm-hmm. obviously. But we're gonna start with the best Premier League goal this season. Andros, got your thoughts? Uh, there's a lot of pressure on me to say Alisson, but I think Lamella's Rabona oh, against yes. Arsenal, that can't be beat. Yeah. I know they ultimately lost that game, but what a goal. The audacity to even take it on. No. Yeah, for me. Have you ever can't. tried something similar? Never. <laughs> but I was on the pitch the first time uh, Lamella scored a Rabona in the Europa League, so it is something that he does really? try. Yeah, yeah. And don't even think about turning around and asking me if I've ever tried in like that, right? Because <laughs> the answer's no. Yours would be a Ribena, not a Ribena. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very good. Bit harsh, but true. I'm going for Alison just oh, for the yeah. record. What a header. I mean, what a it header. Was it was momentous in, in how it sort of turned things in, in Liverpool's favour mm. for the rest of the season. Well, uh, West so Brom had an opportunity to go 2 1 up, didn't they? Just yeah. two minutes before it. The set play. But the, I mean, the way he gets up and, and the actual header itself. The technique in the header oh, was the most impressive part. Wasn't it? Yeah. It really was. I mean, I know it's a rarity with goalkeepers mm. scoring. Have you ever been in a game where that's happened, Andros? I actually was. No. Uh, yeah, when I was at Yeovil, um, I actually missed it. We were 1 0 down. I actually skied a penalty, put it into Rose Ed. Um, and in the 90, 90th minute, the, the goalkeeper spared my blushes. A similar really? situation came up and no. headed, yeah, one one. And so when that happens, what's the reaction from all of you? Because obviously everyone goes mad. Yeah, you literally just go so mad, unlikely. and me even more so, having had thirty minutes of, of of overthinking that penalty. I literally just grabbed him, just said thank you so much. Do you remember? You must remember. Do you remember Jimmy Glass? Yes. yes of oh course. man, a life for Khalil. That was <clears throat> to keep them in the football league. That which, the most important. Well, there you are. It was unbelievable. Was I can still see. I can yes. still see the fans running yes, on. That was absolutely. incredible. That's um, see, that's when you're signing a goalkeeper now. It used to be, you know, is he any good? She's handling like comes across you, and now it's moved on to you know what's he like with his feet? Can he pass it for the back? And now the final thing is what's he like in the opponent's box? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's absolutely. not bad in the opponent. He'll get yeah. you four or five a season. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, imagine, <laughs> wow, that is a true utility player. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, we, we've got to race through some of these. Um, player of your, a uh, player of the season, Andros. It's a tough one. Uh, it's a tough one. Um, it's I'm ones. going to go oh, with my. probably biasly. I'm going to go with Harry Kane. Mm, I think yeah, you saw that coming. Would agree. Well, I think yeah. a lot of people would agree. No, think, considering even Tottenham's seasons not be great, but he's just no. Nah, the goals he scored great. again, the assist he's got yeah. for me, best striker in the world, and rightly so. No, you don't. I don't think you agree, Ali. And Phil Foden. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, no, love, I love Kane. I agree, we yeah. can't disagree. No. Kane's brilliant, but I just something different. I've loved his performances. What about manager of the season? We did brief. We've spoken a little we spoke bit about, about it. This, I so. think. I think it's just you know, I'd give it to Guardiola, right? Obviously, yeah. for obvious reasons, rather yeah, not obviously yeah. for obvious reasons. But there's been some great, some great. Davy Moyes, mm. fantastic. Moyes, absolutely brilliant. I've loved. I've really loved watching Bielsa's leads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they've been terrific. You know, but it's Pep for you. Yeah, Pep, Pep from Valley, Andros. Pep. Uh, for me, David Moyes, I think I remember at the start of the season, favourite for the sack. They had a bad start, favourite yeah. for the sack. They had a, they had a tough <laughs> run of games and, and they came through it and finished in the Europa League places. So for me, the job he's done there, yeah. for sure, it has to trump anything that Pep's, Pep's I done this season. I mean, I have to agree. And I said this before, yeah. uh, you know, Pep, we expect him to mm, win things. Yeah. And I know it's been a funny season and they, they didn't get off to the best of starts, but... They came through, they've won it, they're in the Champions League final and maybe that'll make it even more yeah, special sure. if they win that. And But I'm with you. Yeah. I think you have to look at the progress a side has made and where yes. they were last season and the fact that <clears throat> West Ham were relegation fodder at one stage mm. last season. I, I even think Dean Smith should be in the conversation, but unfortunately yeah. yes, Villa tailed yeah. off this season. But I'm with you. I think David Moyes. I think it's very, very difficult for you to not to give it to a man that could potentially win the Champions League, the league and the League Cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we're, we're talking about Premier League manager this oh, season. Oh, okay, yeah. Fair oh, enough. True, yeah, yeah, that's true. Firmly put in my place there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's good. He's, he's got hot yeah, he's on it, wasn't he? Don't no, I know you're right. Of course. Often. If you win a treble, it is fantastic. But I just think sometimes it's very easy just to go with who won it rather mm. than think about yeah. what the job a manager has yeah. done overall lastly love it VAR keep tweak or get rid throw it in the bin man oh, not even up for okay. debate throw it in the bin God, throw it in the, and you obviously agree unanimous now. and he can throw it in the bin you, you know that way you push the bin down <laughs> just to make sure it's in I'll do that <laughs> yeah I'll just make with sure with your feet that, your yeah, stand, stand on, on it, it just right, so that it okay. can't come out the bin for me listen it's had it's Many errors throughout the season, but even that the FA Cup final, that Chelsea goal, 
even though it was the right decision, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see the 90th minute, <clears> the <throat> players celebrating, the fans celebrating, and then two minutes later, the goal gets cancelled. That's not football. Football's about raw passion. You want to see players celebrating freely and not thinking, oh, let's not celebrate too much because of VAR. So yep. not only for the mistakes, but for, for, for those reasons, I, I want it gone. Oh, a resounding get rid. I feel it maybe just needs a tweak and we might get through. Nah. Ah, look, I'm, nah. I'm, I'm being hounded. That's, thank goodness we're going to a break. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.